This is a 2010 Cadillac CTSV. The Cadillac CTSV came with a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 uh, LSA, and it was the designation of the motor. And this one has had a, a couple of pulley swaps and a couple of little of, uh, other upgrades done to it. It makes about 650 at the tires, and it has this MSD 2351 programmable voltage controller for the fuel pump. This voltage controller has a USB port, and we plug into it with a laptop, and we can program it to, uh, based off of a map sensor reading, how much it's going to overvolt the fuel pump by how much boost the engine's registering. For this install, the 2010 Cadillac CTSV behind me does not take straight power from the fuel pump. It has a fuel pump control module that varies power to the fuel pump. For this, we can't directly connect this to the fuel pump voltage. And the way this was connected created a parasitic draw. If you have a late model vehicle with a fuel pump control module and you're trying to get an MSD 2351 controller to work, this video is for you. Let's take a look at the back of the car where this mounts. In the trunk at this rear uh, fuse block is where uh, the fuel pump control module mounts just in front of it. And that's where uh, our programmable uh, voltage controller was mounted. It was mounted right here to the, right next to the battery, right to the side of the body, just like that. There are four wires that plug into this controller. They are supposed to be battery power and battery ground. And then there's another red and orange wire that are supposed to cut the power to the fuel pump. And then each of these wires go to one side of it. And when the car turns on and the fuel pump gets power, that power that travels down the fuel pump is what comes on and wakes this module up. The interesting area that some of these end up in is because we have a fuel pump control module right here, it varies the voltage to the fuel pump. So we can't just have this connected to that variable voltage line. So what they do is they put this on the feed going into the fuel pump control module. So it'll still overvolt the baseline coming in before it goes through its uh, voltage division or whatever, or, amp or multiplication. And uh, that power wire that runs to the fuel pump control module is straight from the battery. So it gets battery voltage all the time. So when they take this and they connect this to the power wire going into the fuel pump control module, what happens is this never goes to sleep. It just stays awake 24-7, 365, and just runs the battery down, kills the battery. And, uh, and that's what they do. The right answer to do when you have one of these, you can't take the power for this from the ignition wire at the fuel pump control module, but we can run a relay, and I have one right here. I'll show it to you in a second. And uh, we've run the relay to this power wire and have the coil side of the relay run to the ignition voltage at the fuel pump control module. So when the key turns on and the fuel pump control module wakes up from the ignition voltage, the relay jumps power and sends power to this, and then this works in the way that it was originally wired. But it will not kill the battery anymore. Uh, there's a lot of vehicles today that are using a fuel pump control module. Chevy Tahoe uses a fuel pump control module. Uh, Ford Mustangs have used a fuel pump control module as far back as you want to go. Uh, this is a, a, a common little problem and a thing to do. And now you guys know how to correct it so you don't get a battery draw. This is inside of the trunk with the cover removed from the passenger side. This is where the battery sits. Right above the battery is the fuse block. And directly in front of the battery in the fuse block is the fuel pump control module. And right to the side of the fuel pump control module is where I chose to mount the relay that will now power up our MSD controller. So if you're having problems with your vehicle's electrical system 
and the other guys are giving you a run around, come find us, give us a call, we'll get you going.